Good morning from the Rila National Park. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> it was a little bit tricky. I did some research, found a bus that goes to the Rila Monastery from Sofia, but that bus wasn't operating. I don't know, I might have misread the dates or mistranslated something, not sure. I ended up going to Dubnitsa, and there are two shuttles from Dubnitsa every day, one at six something in the morning, the other one at 2.15 in the afternoon, which I took. <laughs> Got into the Rila Monastery pretty late. It is beautiful and I'll show you some clips. I ended up camping really close to there at uh, the Boar Campground, which is nice and clean and they have hot showers. Uh, it is like sleeping in a cloud. So when I woke up in the morning, everything was soaking wet and heavy. Uh, and that the sun doesn't get into that valley until quite late in the morning. So yesterday, didn't hike very far. I walked up the road, maybe six kilometers and stumbled upon a really nice guest house where I spent the day in the sun, drying everything out. And then I spent the night, ate a lot of food. It was great. Had a chance to reset and relax a little bit. So today is gonna to be my first real day of hiking. Um, <laughs> it's just beautiful and I can't wait to break out of this tree line. Good morning from Sofia. Today I'm headed out to Rila National Park. I'm going to do some trekking, I hope. <laughs> um, I managed to leave some stuff behind at the hostel, so my pack's not quite as heavy, but I do have a lot of food. There are huts in the mountains, but it's mid-September, so I don't know if there's going to be anyone at them, if I'll be able to get food anywhere, so I brought food. Um, I also brought my tent because I don't know, I just wasn't sure. I don't know exactly where I'm going to be hiking just yet, but I figured out how to get to the Rila Monastery uh, on the bus. I, this way I don't have to pay for a tour that I don't want to take, and also I can go a little later in the day. There is a campground really close to the Rila Monastery that I plan to stay at tonight. So today it's just bus over there, enjoy the monastery a bit, hopefully after most of the tourists have left camp, and then figure it out tomorrow. I thought I had the bus all figured out, <laughs> but I'm in the wrong place. I got off here and realized this isn't where I catch the bus, so <sighs> I have to wait a little bit. I'm going to catch another bus to the other place. Fortunately, I got up really early, so I should still have lots of time, I hope. <laughs> I'm now in Dupizza. <laughs> oh, all the research I did didn't help me very much because the bus to Rila Monastery didn't exist or wasn't operating or I don't know what. So they said, oh, come here and then you can grab a bus from here and I can <laughs> in three and a half hours. It took me seven hours to get here. <laughs> and now there's some huge raindrops falling from the sky. be allowed to take any video inside this church. No cameras allowed. Well, the inside of the church is amazing. It's got a lot more of this, but also a lot of shiny gold stuff.
Good morning. I'm at the Boar Campground. I put my tent over there on a flat spot. There's a couple uh, covered buildings where you can cook and eat out of the rain, which I did last night. <laughs> and the bathrooms are pretty clean and there's hot water in the showers and a place to wash up. I'm gonna make some coffee. It is still chilly. Oh, look at that. It looks so amazing, but uh, the sun has not hit this valley yet. So I'm packing up my tent wet. It was a little bit chilly and super damp last night. Um, <laughs> just so much condensation and moisture in the air. Uh, my tent is dripping wet right now. <laughs> but I'll find a spot out in the sun and get everything dried out. I slept well. I was warm. My sleeping bag's pretty dry, so... I don't know, though, <laughs> how much camping I'll be doing. Might have to rely on the huts, but we'll see. Oh, the sun is doing its thing. And it looks beautiful. This is the Hermitage of St. Luke. Took a little detour to see it, but like, I don't know. I don't know, can I even go in? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there are people living there and I don't want to disturb them. But I'm going to head towards the tomb of, I think it's John of Rila. signal to translate. Looks interesting. Hmm. It's tempting. Maybe. I'll go ask. <laughs> Look at these mountains. beautiful. Well, I'm going to spend the night here because <laughs> they have food. It's only 25 leva for the night, which is like 12.50 in euros. It's about like half. So that's pretty cheap. And uh, they've got a bathroom and stuff over there and power. <laughs> no internet. I have some 3G connection, but that's about it. But uh, I don't know. Kind of like it. Don't really feel like walking much more today. Well, there are some designated camping areas within the park. You're not supposed to camp anywhere outside of those areas. These are not on my app maps, so. And I'm sure there are no facilities. I don't think this place is open right now, but I think it's a guest house. Just judging from the old mattresses piled outside. I think it's been a while since they had their trash taken down the mountain too. Bears must love this. A beautiful hike, it's perfect weather, the mountains are gorgeous and I'm having such a good day. Um, it's noon 
and I think I'm almost at my hut, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes away. Um, but I'm hoping I can get some home cooked food up there and just relax the rest of the day. I have nowhere to be. So that big house there, that's a mountain hut, Isra. Um, I think it's probably one of the biggest mountain huts in the area. They've got a few other outbuildings for accommodations and whatnot, but it is really empty right now. There's just five people here, mid-September. <laughs> coleslaw and an omelet. There are so many rooms in here so I asked if I could have my own and one of the guys gave me this one which is nice so I got to sleep alone. Um, the bed by the window is great for stargazing but it's got three mattresses on it it's not very comfortable so I actually just slept on this one and I just used my sleeping bag because I noticed that's what other people were doing. But there are linens and blankets obviously lots of blankets it must get cold. So it was great sleeping in here though. It's pretty early, but I should be able to get some coffee in a few minutes. We have satellite TV and power, and that is it. This is the menu. I'm gonna spend two nights here and spend a day just hiking up to Lake Isra and maybe climb a mountain. <laughs> I don't know, I think it'll be nice. I've got a good room here, so take it easy today. This water is so clear. <laughs> it looks like a mirror. <laughs> there are lots of fish, but I've only seen one big enough to eat. It's incredible. So I came around the side of this mountain here to get to the lake. And now my plan today is to, I think I'm hiking up here. And then I want to hike the ridge all the way back to there, and then that should take me back down to the hut. The climb up through these shrubs has been difficult, <laughs> and I still have a long way to go. But man, is it beautiful. And I can see mountains in the distance that I couldn't see before. 
I think the weather might be <laughs> a bit on and off today. I'm just hoping for the best. I keep losing the trail. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying not to get my foot stuck under one of these rocks, you know. Well, it is amazing up here. It was one of the most difficult climbs <laughs> I've ever done. It was very technical, lots of rocks. But the problem is I'm still not at the top. And I don't think I'm going to make it because I think the peak is still almost half a kilometer away. And this is the trail. <laughs> The problem is all of this lichen, it doesn't look so bad, but it is really slippery. And uh, I don't have any gloves. I'm all alone. My trekking poles are a nuisance. Like, I just don't think, I just don't think I can navigate it around all of these rocks. It's too bad though, because I think the rest of the hike, I think the ridge, down there and then it would just be down to the to the hut behind that ridge I think that would be really nice but I think I'm gonna have to go back the way I came oh well <laughs> at least it's beautiful Now that I'm down, looking back at the mountain, I think it was probably a wise decision to turn around because I only made it as far as there. I would have had a long way to go to get across all those horrible rocks. And it's probably not safe or smart to do it by myself either. I, I think the view from where I was was absolutely phenomenal, though, and I don't think it would have been much different at the peak. So I'm really glad I climbed it. It was a really good day. The weather held. Um, I just have a short, short hike back now to the hut and I can have some beer.